Hello, welcome to Global Peace by 2027. Uh, this is uh, ultimate global prayer chain. We pray for ultimate global peace by 2027 uh, as we meet uh, daily at seven o'clock uh, offline, everybody from different corners of the world that we are doing one uh, circle around the globe and also online we meet uh, seven o'clock European and Africa time and um, we pray for salvation healing and blessing uh, and happiness and peace for all eight billion plus people there are as many miracles uh, in the meeting so you may send your prayer list Pray request the, the all description about our prayer meeting is below. Above is uh, our pr prayer list um, videos uh, with all our videos, all our meetings as we meet uh, already for a lot of time. Uh, and uh, we have 40 day prayer condition for peace in Eastern Europe. This is the seventh one. Today we pray for leaders and global cooperation for peace. Um, that may God they inspire our leaders, uh, political, religious, and others to bring peace uh, immediately. Let's go with the Messiah second coming word. A tradition we read uh, from the beginning of the meeting, uh, something about leaders. Religion is the means to fulfill the providence of restoration. Respected leaders, ladies and gentlemen, leading a religious life is not something you can prefer to do or do not do. Fallen men and women were born with a connection to the fallen parents through fallen love that is centered on Satan. Therefore, without exception, all people absolutely need to pass through to the repair shop of religion. Need the true parents and establish a connection of true love and true life with them. There is one important point you need to know. When you go to the repair shop, you cannot stay there forever. You need to come out reborn. While uh, the religious life is um, the required course for all humankind, it is not the basic purpose of the whole purpose of life. The ultimate purpose of human life is to graduate from the religious life a life of restoration and live as a man and woman of the original world of creation. A religion came about only because of the fall. Hence, uh, does it make sense to say that the, the sole purpose of life is to live varied in a religion? If uh, there had been no fall, how would the men and women originally have lived? Human beings are originally the children of God. Thus, we are destined to live with uh, true love, realize uh, a true family, and establish one world of freedom, peace, unity, and happiness. We are supposed to live in the kingdom of heaven on earth. God did not originally create men and women to have them break down so that he could repair them as his children reborn through religion. Do any parents want to see their children suffering conflict while endlessly repenting on their sins? Do you think the original will of God the father, the omniscient, omnipotent Lord of the creation was that they his children suffer in sin. This fallen world is not the world God originally planned. The first ancestors' disobedience prevented God from realizing the world he had originally planted. planted. However, God is absolute and his will is also absolute. Does God will realize his will as he had the intended in the beginning. This uh, will is for complete recovery of the original state. This is why God's providence of salvation is the providence of restoration, the providence of recreation, religion, 
is the central means for the providence of restoration. However, people are not just supposed to meet the true parents and go through the course of religious life. They are supposed to become God's children, establish a parent-child relationship with him, attend God, and build the world where the values of uh, faith are inherited in their daily life. No one in history revealed this precious truth, namely that the people must graduate from religious life. Knowing this truth from an early age, I did not want to create another sect or denomination. Okay, this uh, was quote for today. Let's go with the global prayer chain and invite uh, Irina from Uganda. Welcome, welcome. You may turn on your video. Hello, Irina. Could you pray now? Okay. Maybe she have a difficulty with connection. Irina. Okay. Maybe she have problem with the connection. Let's uh, go with the Tinku. Tinku, welcome. Please, uh, you have good research usually about peace and leadership. Welcome, welcome. <clears throat> so beautiful day. I have a thinking about peace and uh, education and pacifism regard peace. So today I have discussed about spicy film is a commitment to peace and opposition to world. The world pacif pacifism is a derived from the word pacific, which means peacemaking. Pasi is a lighting word, means peace, and fuse means making, that is peacemaking. A pacifist is a person who is opposed to war and violence. Pacifists believe that we should not kill or harm other people, and if the killing is a wrong, war must be wrong because war is a basically a matter of killing. Pacifism and idea of pacifist to be integrated with the educational curriculum. The education and the curriculum at all levels should include the aspect of influencing to improve society and remove the cause of war, injustice, exploitation, the repression of mentalities. Christian pacifism is a non violence like as Martin Luther King, GR, among MSC, peace churches, Christian peacemaker teams, and so on. The historical development of peace education, the end of the war, 1900. 14 to 1918 through powerful support for the need, international cooperation and understanding and help in a still a desire to include peace education idea in education system. The national and NDO bulk together on these ideas, especially through the International Institute of Intellectual Cooperation and Organization that by the plea itself of the United Nations Educational, Scientific, and Cultural Organization. The World War II, about 1939 to 1945, ended with the millions of victims and the frightening the use of atomic weapons against Japan as Hiroshima and Nagasaki. In 1946, UNESCO was the founded as an umbrella institution of United Nations and it was charged with the planning, developing, and implementing general charge in education according to the international politics of peace and security. With the witness of the orders of the First and Second World War, there was a reawakening the need of developing the humanistic side of education, at least among a few educationalists. At the beginning of 21st century today, 
Bialonli discovering her vision of peace education, which she tried to tell the world in the 1930s. Her vision of education provides a meaningful sound basis for peace education. To be human beings, to be full of humanity, humanity is essential in everything we do or one never knows what will happen in the future. No one knows what will be happen in the future. Then we try to work with the machine. Then we are start becoming machine in a state of humans. <laughs> Let's build our future, our dreams into the reality of tomorrow. And uh, I quote like uh, life will get a stress free life. Time for yourself and harmony for others. Companionship and time of loved ones. God sleep, God test. Better physical and mental health. It is important for us to seek peace, joy, and relaxation, which quality matters. At the time being, Indian initiatives to become a center of innovation with the help of G20. So thank you to all of them and peacemaking teams and members. Okay, have a nice day. Thank you very much, Tinku. So good. <laughs> thank you. To not become machine, we're supposed to rest, yes, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's invite Sailaja. Namaste. Another Namaste from India. <laughs> Alaja, welcome. Hi, everyone. Hello. What is our theme today? I have missed it. I don't know. Ah, today we pray for peace and uh, for leaders, for all leaders to get the inspiration from God uh, to stop wars and start working <laughs> for peace. Yeah, for okay. leaders, leaders. We pray for leaders. 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 So let's start. Hello, everyone. Now, namaste from India. Uh, today, I normally we keep praying for one thing or the other, but the ultimate goal of us to reach to peace by the year 2027. With that vision in mind, today we uh, pre pray for uh, global leaders' peace so that uh, if they are good, then their global peace will be the ultimate effect. So when we say leaders, uh, to pray for the leaders, what we are here expecting is one, some, some countries are communist countries, some countries are democratic countries. However, the leaders are, some we choose, some we are bestowed upon. So we have to live with such leaders. So with whatever conditions are, if they are able to, if they are able to satisfy the population and uh, help them achieve, uh, help the economy stabilize and build global relationship and uh, help uh, each one to uh, help each one to uh, grow uh, uh, either uh, single-handedly or as a group or globally as a team if there are uh, connected and build up the things, then the leadership is successful. If in isolation we try to grow, it will be difficult for us to uh, achieve peace. Earlier days when there was no global liberal liberalization, each country was surviving with its own resources and there was no exchange of goods from one country to another. But now with global liberalization for last three, four decades, we are in a position to understand the flaws in our own system, correct them, and bring out the best in each of the country. So leaders have to exchange knowledge amongst themselves and come out with much policies that are uh, human friendly and for the benefit of the people uh, overall. So leadership, leadership is not only in terms of leading, even if the policies are put in place, then if they are amicable, they are understandable, they are implemented well, then we can say that the global peace can be achieved. A simple example, in India, we do not follow rules. We, we find ways to break rules. 
But if the same Indians go abroad, they follow rules. So it is not the leader who is setting up the thing. It's an individual who is setting up and trying to adjust to the different environment. If you go to America, the Biden doesn't do anything and tell you to, to follow some rules. But when you see, you fall in place. The Gamodi government here is not telling you, uh, make it clean India, clean India, keep India clean, leave the roads clean. But nobody follows uh, it to the T as they do when they go out. So it is not to do only with policies. I think when we pray, we also have to pray to people to have trust in your leader. When you've elected them, have trust, follow their policies and see the benefits of it. Because it will take some time for the fruits to rise. We need to give them time. But not all leaders are working towards the progress. So I pray in this forum to that level that there is sanity and rationalism in the leaders and they stop violence with each other and bring out to situations which are amicable and uh, peaceful and happier uh, societies are in place. So thank you for listening. I pray for each one of us who's part of this forum. May there be uh, health, prosperity and education in each one of us and may we do the little what we can. I thank God for giving us this day to be alive and uh, pre pray for others and do little good. And um, may there be health, healthy little bit of health and well is there in our family. So I need to pray for ourselves to be coming back, bouncing back with more positivity and affirmations in the years to come. Thank you so much. Thank you, Salaga. Namaste. So good to hear from you. Namaste. Thank you. <laughs> Welcome, Arina. Yeah, she had the. Arina, could you pray now? Hello, Nick. Yeah, Hello. yeah, yeah. Thank Welcome. I am having network challenges. Maybe I better pass. Uh, you might say a short prayer. We could hear you good. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Very quick Thank one, you, you say. Hello? Yes, good. Okay. Okay, okay. I said Thank do you. a quick prayer. Quick one, quick. Okay, let us pray. Father, thank you so much for today. Thank you for gathering us again today to pray for leaders. Um, I'm very, very, very grateful that Father, you brought up leaders from long time ago in the Bible, in other places, Father, you brought good leaders who, who guided us. So we want to pray, Father, that in this current age, knowing how important our leadership should be, we pray that you give us good leaders, leaders who can listen, leaders who can solve problems, not individual problems, but problems of each other, leaders who, who are not corrupt, leaders who don't tell lies or who are not biased. Father, we need these leaders, godly leaders, Father, so that we may have a world of peace. And we are still praying for peace to happen by the year 2027. And we are praying that, Father, leadership is very important now because these are the leaders who are going to take us towards peace. And if they don't have peace in their hearts and they don't know how to uh, express peace to their people, then we will miss it with them. So we pray that Father, you go into their hearts because you are the ruler of hearts and change them so that they understand your will and so that they may do your will. Not, not forgetting the fact that they have to look at other people as their children because they are fathers and mothers. Leadership is from God, we believe. Therefore, Father, mold your leaders whom you have put on earth to be leaders who will, whom we shall be proud of. 
So we pray for the end of Russia and Ukraine war. We pray for uh, the world to be peaceful, environmentally, health-wise, economically. Father, please, please, please do help this world to go into peacefulness by the year 2027. I want to pray and thank you through all the saints and sages, and also in my name, in Narutanji of the Blessed Central Family, Aju, Amen, Amen. Thank you, that was very nice and quick. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much, Irina, so good. Okay, please join my prayer too. Uh, dear Heavenly Parent, we are so happy to meet you uh, live here. And uh, we are so happy also for those who join uh, online at this meeting. Uh, I pray for uh, Irina and Amos, uh, Irina and uh, Uganda, Amos and Gabon, uh, all of them in Heavenly Africa for their families, for Selaja uh, in India and uh, Tinku in India, all of them in uh, Heavenly Asia and I'm in uh, Europe, dear Heavenly Parents, uh, we are so touched by you that uh, you inspire us in the Bible to pray for the sick and uh, thus we join together by you call uh, every day at this prime time at seven o'clock um, all children who, all children of you who understand this and pray at seven o'clock uh, offline, they are on uh, place and also at seven o'clock uh, Europe and Africa time uh, here and online. Uh, dear Heavenly Parent, we uh, pray, we try the best to pray for the sick, for our brothers and sisters who are really suffering. Um, they are suffering so much that they are fighting with each other, but uh, we pray for, for you that um, your healing could uh, heal them and uh, their heart. And uh, as we pray today for the leaders um, maybe they represent a, a human brain but uh, uh, let them uh, really be wise Re uh, give them please uh, all leaders in all uh, uh, areas uh, uh, give them uh, as we pray for leaders and global cooperation give them wisdom to cooperate to stop all these wars and stop all these actions uh, because this is the uh, really uh damage uh, the human uh, beings uh, dear heavenly parent and uh, is a very big shame as everything this is record for the um uh, for forever and the history uh, and the internet so uh, is a big shame for our descendants so we want to stop it now our generation let the uh, all eight billions uh, take us in hand and as we represent the society to network for peace by 2027, raise the flag of peace, dear heavenly parent. I really pray very much that you could uh, lead us to this uh, as soon as possible. And this what uh, what was till now, what uh, this was like uh, in the um, history was moving in this uh, war machine, but uh, now let's stop it because uh, this is uh, really uh, deteriorate, uh, uh, kill the human beings and uh, your children and also uh, deteriorate the planet. And uh, we don't know what calamities could happen by these uh, weapons, what is uh, uh, happening now. Uh, Heavenly Parent, please uh, uh, help us uh, to work more and more for peace. And uh, all of this area, we pray seven days and seven different areas. And uh, today we pray for leaders, uh, lead us to understand what is your will and how to fulfill it every day, every hour, every second. Uh, Heavenly Parent, I, I really want to bring this uh, uh, day and pray one more time for all brothers and sisters who join here, for all their families and their communities, countries and the world, and also for our ancestors and spiritual world. Uh, dear Heavenly Parent, uh, they work so much to, that we came to this uh, age and this level. Uh, please receive this uh, significant day of the 12th uh, December 12th month 2022 with um, uh, big gratitude from us uh, and uh, I pray in my name as Nikolai Kerpala Center Plus Family. Adieu, Amen, Amen, Amen. Thank you, Nick. Wonderful. Yeah, thank you very much. Tomorrow Sarah. we will pray for financial stability as you wrote. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yeah. Thank, thank you, you. Thank you.
Yeah. Bye bye. See you all. Chinku, bye. you want to you want to say something? Well, you could miss. No. Yeah, let's go to digital innovative. <laughs> Thank you. Bye bye. Stay happy, healthy. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.